Awesome. Super evening, superstars. I heartily welcome each one of you to another family meeting. Uh, so these family meetings happen every week on Thursdays from 8.15 to 8.45 p.m. It's a quick catch up amongst the entire uh, Golden Age Film House community members. So this we also share a recording of the same online so that everyone uh, from our three week, uh, uh, th th uh, our three hour uh, superstar intensive or the two week uh, superstar intensive or our uh, weekend workshop participants, the Titans community, the initiation workshop community, everyone can stay connected at least once in a week. Uh, you can't see me. Uh, guys, are you able to see me everyone? Uh, I think you should be able to see me. Others, are you able to see me? Okay, let me just uh, spotlight once again. Yes, I think uh, you should be able to see me. So uh, uh, this is one uh, meeting where everyone can join, everyone can watch and stay connected to cinema, stay connected to the process of filmmaking. Uh, at least on a weekly basis. That is the idea. So every week I try to bring one concept of cinema that I personally uh, like uh, uh, am learning or I personally discuss in our Cine Superstars Club community or that I come across uh, which is relevant to be understood to be uh, uh, learned in the moment. So uh, this week I had mentioned look at the bigger picture. What do we mean by that? Look at the bigger picture. Any guesses, anyone? You can put it in the chat box. What do you think uh, uh, when we say in cinema, you have to always learn to look at the bigger picture? Any guesses what we are talking about? You can share your answers or guesses in the chat box. What do we mean by uh, bigger picture? Success says Mahesh. Okay. A director or a filmmaker should have this capability, not just filmmaker. In my community, uh, uh, I try to make every person who enters our community become capable of looking at the bigger picture. Okay, future projects, Oscar, success, hero. Uh, okay, I think uh, you are thinking about it in a different way. Uh, Ram almost uh, is getting what I wanted to share, end product. So basically... Uh, this week in our community, we were having this uh, discussion. Why should we restrict ourselves to make a two minute film? Why don't we make a, a five minute film or a 10 minute film? Uh, so this discussion was going on and uh, I kept on emphasizing on one point, which is like when you're packaging a film, when you're putting together a film, there are so many different aspects that come together to make that film work. So every single aspect that you are going to do individually is going to add up to make the full film happen. Now there is a very high chance that we can get very excited about one aspect. Maybe shooting aspect you want to shoot a 10 minute film or maybe some aspect you get very excited you want to act more so you uh, shoot a lot of uh, uh, acting moments. So whichever aspect you take, you can get very fascinated by one single aspect of filmmaking. But it's not about that one aspect alone. It's about all the aspects coming together and finally the film reaching out to people as a story, as a world that you have created. A cinema is a union set of various subsets. Music is a subset. Acting is a subset, editing is a subset, art direction is a subset, lighting is a subset, writing, the story idea that you come up with is a subset, the dialogues that you come up with is a subset, the costumes that you wear, the makeup that you put on. So there are so many different subsets. All of these subsets should work together properly for the film to work. How many of you are getting this type G in the chat box, guys? There is this beautiful uh, uh, definition about uh, the screenplay uh, or filmmaking in general. But for screenplay, I think I read this uh, definition in uh, Blake Snyder's Save the Cat uh, uh, book about screenplay. A beautiful film or a film in general is like a Swiss army watch where it's basically an analog watch. If you remember the old analog watches, if you 
open the watch you will see all the small 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 circles there will be so many circles with the teeth so all these circles will be tuck 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 they will all be moving and all these circles will move in a certain way so that the main uh, uh, like uh, uh, what is what do we call that uh, fingers on the clock or the main uh, hands of the clock the main hands of the clock the minute hand or the second hand all this uh, uh, like uh, small small wheels they have to work together properly for the clock to work similarly in cinema if one aspect takes a back seat or if one aspect gets missed or if one aspect gets compromised also the film can bomb left and right so when we say this i know that people because of their enthusiasm or because of their innocence because they are just getting started with the journey they might not understand the significance of this so i thought why not give a example a very recent example and tell you how important this is to understand of course i know you all might have come across many such examples but i don't know if you have thought about it this way uh, and i want you to link it to your film making journey when you are getting started from ground zero so what is the example how many of you have watched this uh, film called or heard of this film called martin type i in the chat box guys how many of you have heard this film called martin type i in the chat box so martin is a basically a kannada film which came recently i actually decided to watch this film last week uh, when it came on ott so this film uh, it's kind of a big budget film in kannada dhruva sarja is a big star in kannada so today this pan indian film trend has become big everyone wants to make a pan indian film so the makers of martin also decided to make this film into a pan indian film so if you look at the poster kannada telugu tamil hindi malayalam bengali there are almost six languages they wanted to make the film in so the dream gets very bigger for people like uh, uh, it's just that many people are doing it many big heroes are doing it so let's also do it so they did this film uh, like uh, basically to release it in six languages it's a kannada film originally the budget of the film if you look at it is somewhere around 80 to 120 crores 80 to 120 crores the film team has put in a lot of efforts put in a lot of efforts with respect to the production the production took 3 years 3 years of effort to uh, uh, mount the film 3 years of effort dhruva sarja worked out a lot with respect to body and uh, with respect to acting he has tried so many things uh, which uh, uh, like uh, for the particular film he has actually tried and there are so many people who have genuinely put in a lot of effort it's a 120 crore project guys and the film bombed big time the film bombed big time if you look at the data actually Uh, they say around 25 crores they recovered in the 120 crore budget they recovered 25 crores and the reviews uh, especially from all languages the reviews have been so bad the reviews have been so bad but still i uh, like uh, in our community i always say watch films that's how you learn a lot of things so i decided to watch this film over the weekend just for seeing what could have been done wrong like what went wrong because there is a big budget there is a big hero there are big big technicians in the film they have tried a lot to make it a very uh, uh, high level project then i uh, when i watched it it's it's like there are so many things that had a potential to be done very well the first and the foremost thing was the story the team dropped the ball on the not the original story the story idea is interesting actually if you uh, listen to some sensible reviewers they will mention about the story idea being interesting but the way the screenplay is developed when you are uh, see uh, here this is not just one film i am trying to single out this is just a recent example but many heroes 
Pravas, one of the sensational actors of our time who has done so many big blockbuster films, also has given equally bad films. Bagheera is not a bad film. Bagheera absolutely loved the writing of the film and it is a hit in Canada also. So Bagheera is an absolute uh, delight to watch. At least for me, I enjoyed the film amazingly well. Uh, so I watched both Bagheera and Mar Martin. Like uh, it was on the same weekend I watched. Uh, but uh, what happened with Martin was basically the writing. The writing, the development of screenplay. Kangua, yeah, I heard. I didn't dare to watch it. Uh, but the writing of Martin, when you are having an idea, maybe uh, the, the idea, original idea is from uh, Arjun Sarja. The story is from Arjun Sarja, who is himself a very established action hero in uh, multiple industries. So he gave, came up with the original story. The story will be interesting. Even during the development of the screenplay, things might have been interesting on paper. But the main thing that you have to understand in cinema is... It's not about individual aspects being interesting. It's not about individual stages being interesting. It's about the film being interesting. I don't know how many of you get this. Actually, uh, uh, I think today or yesterday, uh, I'll just show this video. This is also relevant to the discussion that we are having. Today or yesterday, uh, uh, in our community, Cine Superstars Club community, I think... Uh, one of our superstars, uh, Mahesh, shared this uh, particular reel from Akira Kurosawa. This exactly uh, makes sense because this is what exactly I'm talking about. Have a look. Just a sec. Are you all able to see my screen? Now you should be able to see. Yeah. I hope you are all able to see my screen, guys. Let me just play it. うん、so basically what uh, Akira Kurosawa is saying, I could connect to it a lot and uh, according to what I interpret, this is exactly what he is saying. We can teach the practical aspects of cinema. We can teach, okay, just give me a second. Uh, yeah, let's bring everyone in here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so basically, what Akira Kurosawa is saying is, you can teach the practical aspects of filmmaking, the skill part of filmmaking, like editing, cinematography, uh, writing, direction, all these individual aspects can be taught uh, uh, to participants and uh, uh, participants can understand it. They can become very good at a certain aspect. Like in our community also, there are some people who are really good at editing. There are some people who are really good at uh, uh, makeup. There are some people who are really good at uh, uh, selecting the music. So you might be good at certain aspects. You might be able to even package the overall thing, but understanding what differentiates a good cinema from a bad cinema, or let's not even say good cinema and bad cinema, a cinema that works and a cinema that doesn't work emotionally for the audience. Of course, I have uh, that's a different concept where no cinema will work for 100% of the audience. So let's keep it aside. Just majority of the audience, a cinema working emotionally and for majority of the audience, the cinema not working at all emotionally. To understand this also is not easy and to teach this also is not easy. So what I have realized for my own journey is the only way to understand the dynamics of storytelling or uh, uh, I call this, if you remember the uh, uh, people who have attended my advanced workshops, I would have spoken about skill and craft. So the skill part is teachable. 
but the craft part the craft part the innate uh, instinct of telling a story telling a good story that can't be taught that's what akira kurosawa is saying it's very difficult to teach it but i have realized the only way to learn that is watching a lot of films dissecting a lot of films discussing a lot of films that's what we exactly do in our thursday meetings we watch a lot of great films and we try to bring so many minds sharing their perspectives because you might see a film and you might not like it at all but the other person will say that he loved the film and he will give you reasons why he loved the film and when you listen to his reasons you also fall in love with it oh i didn't think of the film so much at all but when i listen to a very uh, amazing uh, thinker i uh, th that's why i have spoke about this also many times when you listen to all these reviewers really uh, good reviewers like bharatwaj rangan or raja sen or sometimes anupama chopra the way they interpret the film gives me so much knowledge about how people can actually uh, interpret a film i would have interpreted like just a mass masala entertainer and just done with it but the intellectual how they interpret the layers of the storytelling how they interpret the intricate details of that's why in uh, today's meeting also i was suggesting my cine superstars watch a lot of making videos watch a lot of interviews watch a lot of behind the scenes so that they can interpret cinema and this is one amazing way i have realized that you can learn the craft part of cinema how many of you got this guys type g in the chat box there is no teacher who can teach you the craft part skill i am teaching many people are teaching but why i suggest everyone become part of the cine superstars club community why i suggest everyone show up every thursday and be part of the discussion why i suggest my entire community to get involved in as many films as possible is the craft part of cinema see uh, some people because they uh, i am one of them i came into cinema because i used to watch a lot of cinema i used to watch cinema left and right i can watch cinema continuously for 24 hours i used to watch one cinema 50 times i was a film buff that's how my entire journey started so because you have gotten exposed to a lot of cinema because you have gotten uh, uh, kind of uh, by watching cinema you have gotten a certain understanding of cinema you understand cinema and you tell stories some people they have some kind of skill uh, that came from somewhere that point of view that came from the family or that came from some kind of background but when we have this desire to become a filmmaker but we don't have any of this background how can we become actors and filmmakers good actors and filmmakers it's only by watching cinema by watching great cinema and not just watching it as an audience by discussing cinema as an audience so that's why we uh, i keep telling thursday meetings are extremely important because you can make a 120 crore film and you can get zero out of it that is the uh, gamble in cinema many people are scared of cinema because of this gambling aspect to it but i'm telling you truly it's not a gambling thing it's just a, a common sense thing you have to understand that cinema is a whole union set where there are so many small small things that has to be really worked upon if you ignore one aspect especially many people today the biggest aspect that gets ignored and this is i don't know this is common sense but people somehow uh, uh, like uh, 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 drop the ball on this aspect which is storytelling how many of you agree guys the mounting of the film will be great the production value will be great the actors would have done a phenomenal job people undergo body transformation directors put in a lot of effort everything they do amazingly well but they drop the ball on story they think uh, there is this uh, ego i don't know there are so many reasons we can discuss i can see this ego happening in our own community where we are a small group of 20 30 people here also i have my ego i'm not saying uh, we are all ego free i'm including me also we all have this ego that i have to tell my story i should not use other ideas i should stick to my ideas i should stick to my editing i should stick to my music i should do what i want so there are so many things i have heard this about one famous director in kannada the reason he failed was no one in his team dared to tell him that his ideas are bad whatever he he used to surround himself with people who all used to say wow what an idea sergi you tell me if you all have or only those kind of people around you and you are investing close of money in a film 
there is a high chance that the film can flop how many of you agree guys you need perspectives you need more people to tell you on the face that this is see you can be very polite about it you can be very honest about it but you need people who can tell you i have a certain set of people luckily that has been my attitude from day one and somehow we developed this uh, 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 even before me creating this community and many other things we had this circle of friends who were like very genuine about it and we knew that this is the only way we can become better and i'm telling you uh, this has helped me i i i can very honestly tell you i was not a filmmaker i was i was only interested in becoming an actor this happens with a lot of people who come to just be an actor or who just want to learn some aspect and then they come into the community and try making films that's where they fail today choreographers are becoming directors dance master like dance masters or stunt choreographers are becoming directors uh, story writers are becoming directors direction is a very big deal so you have to uh, really uh, uh, understand this game in a much much bigger level that's what i mentioned when i said look at the bigger picture learn to look at the bigger picture in your mind you should be able to see how this particular laugh is going to fit in the final film how this particular body language body action you do certain action how this action is going to work in the final film how a particular property that i am going to use in a certain scene is going to fit in my final film sorry every single aspect that we are going to uh, use in our film every single decision that we are going to make is going to impact the final film that's why in our community i kept repeating this last week and all stick to a 2 minute film there are hundreds of decisions that can go into just making a 2 minute film let's try making all those 100 decisions right in this 2 minute film and then let's get into a 20 minute film why because once we learn to look at the bigger picture once we develop that attitude of looking at the bigger picture and doing every single aspect with a lot of focus and attention you will see that 2 minute film also takes a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of thought process and that's why in cinema it's not about the quantity it's about the quality how many of you got these points guys i know it might be a bit difficult to understand right now but i just gave you this example so that you get an idea it's very easy to get distracted from your primary goal or primary vision uh, actors can uh, say something which might disturb your vision and you might end up making a film completely different from what you initially started with or maybe sometimes listening to a bigger person like suppose uh, um, sometimes you are as a humble upcoming filmmaker you decide to do something some big filmmaker will come and say some suggestion you decide to listen to him he didn't understand your vision and you listen to him and messed up with your vision so no one's vision comes on the screen so there are so many different things which you will understand gradually only but one thing i want to share with everyone is to be able to look at the bigger picture like akira kurosawa said to be able to learn the craft of film making the only way is watch a lot of films together discuss a lot of films together analyze a lot of films together and understand a lot of different perspectives and be open to feedback and suggestion be completely open to having a honest set of people around you even if they are a bit rude in giving feedback it's okay but it's very uh, see uh, how many of you agree that it's okay to take bad feedback or a, a rude feedback initially rather than making a 100 crore project and losing the entire 100 crore how many of you agree guys there you are at a bigger loss you are losing actual hard earned money someone's money went away just like that because no one actually discussed about the film everyone kept on saying okay we'll make a film and they did it and now they lost so much of money instead of that that's what we are trying to do here learn 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 understand that form and then see even after understanding everything we can make a bad film that is always there in cinema but if you have learned the right way i'm telling you you will even if you make a film that doesn't work see uh, today we were talking talking about this film uh, dunki uh, by uh, shahrukh khan and rajkumar hirani one of my all time favorite directors inspiration 
I didn't like the film, but still the filmmaking is the same. The uh, thought process is the same. There are so many things about the film that are good, but the film didn't work as well as three idiots and all. But some film uh, uh, will irritate you so much. It will irritate you at a very big level because of uh, uh, the missing of grammar and so many other things, which will be today because everyone has started doing films. Uh, you can see a lot of films that literally you will need a salad on to watch the film. You might have seen such films without getting a headache. When I was at Infosys, I remember I used to feel a frustrated. Uh, uh, I used to get to uh, get so frustrated that I used to run out of the theater in between. It was like I used to go for free. It was uh, uh, not. I was not paying tickets also. So I used to get so irritated and run away. But uh, uh, that's what I was very proud when I watched this film, Martin, completely with a very calm expression. I just watched it, and then I kept on thinking, why did this filmmaker make this film? How could have the screenplay gotten developed? What might have been the thought process? That's a very interesting conversation we can have some sometime when we have more time but remember this the only way you can improve your sensibility about cinema is by working with like minded community people with good taste people with good attitude the more you discuss cinema with them the more you work with a group of people open uh, mindedly you can actually work on the craft part of cinema why because cinema is a union set of a lot of different art forms, a lot of different subsets. That's what I meant when I said you should be able to look at the bigger picture, not get greedy. It's like that hen with the golden egg. If you decide, the cut, uh, decide to cut open the hen, you might get one egg, but you will lose the hen forever. But when you understand the bigger picture and start making cinema, you will be able to become a successful filmmaker in the industry. Type hundred percent. If this is clear, guys. So that's my uh, uh, like a share for today. That's 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 something I wanted to share. So we can talk in detail in our Cine Superstars Club meetings and other places. But here, because of the limited time, let's uh, keep it short. So that's it from my end for today, guys. Uh, let's quickly go into the breakout room. It's just a five minute uh, uh, meet and greet. So we have around nine people. So I'll open two breakout rooms. You can say uh, John asked. So this particular family meeting is not a question answer session because uh, we have a very limited time. So in our advanced community meetings, we do question answers. So please uh, plan to come into the advanced community where we'll discuss cinema not one day, not 30 minutes. We discuss every day. Uh, our meetings go one hour, sometimes one and a half hours. Why? Because there's so much to talk about cinema. So that's why we do that. Okay. Awesome. So quickly, let me open the breakout room. It's just a quick getting to know each other uh, session. So please go into it. Talk to each other and come back. Just five minutes. Okay. So I'm opening the breakout rooms. Yes. Here we go, guys. Thank you. Uh, so what I was saying was, uh, please make sure that every week you attend this family meeting just to keep that momentum going, keep that energy alive so that very soon you can uh, uh, get into the game of learning cinema consistently, uh, like what our cine superstars are doing. So a lot of exciting things. Today, uh, uh, I actually, uh, uh, one of our community members, Satish, uh, uh, he got an opportunity to kind of work on a film in the first conclave. And today he shared his story for the uh, second conclave for his film. And I was bowled by the story, by the kind of uh, screenplay he has come up with. It was perfect for what I had uh, told him, what we have been discussing. So we keep seeing that progress in these people because they are consistently uh, doing it. So for doing consistent learning, for being consistent with your learning process, you have to get into the next levels. So... Uh, uh, um, so questions, uh, we don't do question answer here because this is a very short time. We are already uh, uh, like uh, late, but please make sure any questions you have, uh, anything you have, uh, the best way is like join whenever there are meetings, please join. We, we try to accommodate more meetings, but as of now, we have this family meetings, which is just a quick catch up. But we'll try to bring in more meetings where we can answer your questions also. But joining our next level uh, communities is where we can discuss more of cinema. Okay.
Uh, awesome. Thank you everyone for joining. Have a, a great week ahead. This week we don't have any interviews scheduled because uh, new films are yet to come. Uh, so once the new films are there, you will see more superstar interviews happening on our channel. So until then, keep learning cinema and keep uh, working towards getting into the next level. Let's uh, all try to get into the City Superstars Club community and learn cinema in a more uh, consistent and more uh, fun manner. So that's the hope. Thank you, everyone. Have a great week ahead. Let's catch up in the next family meeting. Okay. Thank you, guys. This is Vihan signing off.